Welcome to ClockClass.com. I'm David Labounty. Today we're going to be talking about handling mainsprings. I showed you on the screen, just as we were starting here, one reason why it's important to be able to properly handle mainsprings. This is a mainspring clip that I have around this mainspring. You can see this mainspring has just totally exploded into the mainspring clip and it would have shrapnelized and thrown pieces of steel everywhere had it not gotten caught in this mainspring clip. So you can imagine safety is the first priority when dealing with mainsprings. Let's go ahead and put a mainspring clip on this loop end as a loop here, loop end, open mainspring on this American mantle clock. <coughs> you will need a letdown key. And again, this is a safety feature. It doesn't have lobes on it that can whack your fingers if it gets loose. You hold it in, your, in the palm of your hand and then you have control over it. You will need to wind the mainspring up sufficiently that you can get the clip over it and it slides in and around. It's like one of those puzzles that you get. Sometimes you have to figure out just the best way of getting it on there. But it usually just clips right around. And then you'll need to let it down by releasing the click. Let me see if this one's kinda hidden. Let me see if I can zoom in here and point it out to you. There, it's kind of hiding underneath there. Right under here is the click, and it's holding the power back with the ratchet wheel. So we'll twist it as if we're winding it just ever so slightly. And I'm going to reach in then with this spring bar tool. It has a hook at both ends. This is a very handy tool. If you don't have one, I'd encourage you to get one makes life a whole lot easier. You could use a pair of tweezers, although tweezers can get damaged. Get a good grip on everything. Sometimes it takes three hands to do this. And what I do is I, I lay it down on my bench mat so that it doesn't slide. You can get your palm on it, get some fingers on it. And you can use that then, to, even if you need an elbow or something, get a good grip on it. I'm going to use my right hand, since I'm right-handed, to wind it ever so slightly. And again, I've got my, my palm, and I'll reach in and just get a hold of that click. Pull it gently away from the ratchet wheel, and then let the mainspring down into the clip. And if you get tired, you can make sure that you have control of it, but if you get tired you can let things back together, let the click back onto the ratchet wheel, that'll allow you to reposition the safety clip, relax a little bit, and then continue on. Make sure that it is completely unwound, so I put a little back wind on it and everything now is nice and loose.